What's going on you guys? If you are watching this video, it's because you got a little gray in your hair. You guys are trying to get it out. I have the perfect thing for you. It's called Control GX. It's from Just For Men Beard. I also did a video on Just For Men Beard and Mustache. And this is more if like uh, you want to dye your hair from one day to the next. And it's kind of, if you haven't used it before, it's like uh, if you have a bunch of grays and then the next day you have you know, <laughs> black hair or whatever color that you guys pick. It's kind of weird that you that you have that and it doesn't look as natural as this. And this is what we're gonna be talking about in this video. So we're gonna go over some tips, some frequently asked questions. I'm actually gonna be applying it to myself. We're gonna see how long it takes to get everything nice and colored and filled in. And uh, let's just get started. Okay, so let's do a little unboxing. I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. It is only two items, and then one is actually gonna be the product, and this is it right here. I'm gonna have to shake it up real nice. And then the other one is gonna be the instructions. And if you guys are watching this video, it's probably because you don't wanna read the instructions. So let's get into what you have to do. There's four steps, and then we're gonna get into the frequently asked questions. Okay, so the first step is to peel off the freshness tab, and then this is it right here. This is just to keep it nice and fresh. All we have to do is peel it off like so, and then it also recommends that you don't leave this open. Even when you're applying it to your beard, you wanna apply it and then close the cap right away because you don't want anything in here drying out or getting discolored and it's not gonna work out for you. So only keep the cap open while you're using it. So the second step is going to be to apply a little bit of this on your palm. You want to make sure you shake it well. That way you get all the chemicals nice and mixed up. That way it's not all from down from one side. So shake it up real nicely. You're going to put it on the palm of your hand. And they recommend the palm of your hand because uh, they don't want you getting it on your fingers and it going on your fingernails and getting all gunky and turning your nails all black and all that stuff. So I do recommend that you get a latex glove and you use, you put it on the, you know, put your glove on, use it. You only need one glove to actually apply. You don't need both gloves, but get one glove, you're going to apply it. And then that way you can massage it in, use your fingers and don't have to worry about your fingernails getting all black and all that stuff. So make sure your, when you apply, you ha your beard has to be nice and moist. So that's why they, you know, apply in the shower. That way you're not getting all messy and all that stuff. So make sure it's nice and wet, you're gonna apply a little bit on your palm or your fingers if you're wearing a glove, and then you're just gonna massage it in like normal, like you would any beard wash. You have to wait two to three minutes. After two to three minutes, you're good to go. You could actually wash it out. Okay, so after that, one of the tips that I have for you guys is make sure when you're getting out the shower and you're drying your beard off, make sure you're using like a towel that's not, uh, kind of like a rag towel or a towel that you don't care if it gets messed up because you will get a little bit of black on the towel. Uh, it does wash off if you wash it off um, right afterwards, but if you don't, then it's probably gonna stain your towel. So make sure that you're not using a brand new towel when you get out the shower. So Control GX recommends that you only use it for two to three minutes. If you use it a little bit longer than that, then it's gonna get your beard hair darker. Some people want that, some people don't. I just wanna let you guys know, if you use it for longer, it will get darker. The point of Control GX is pretty much to make it look natural, like make it look natural so it's not like one day to the next, like a flip of a switch that, you know, you're gray one day and then you got all kinds of color in your hair uh, the next day. So if you gradually do it, uh, I, I think a lot of people at work or if you go to school or wherever you do, I don't think they're gonna notice it as much as you know, if you use just for men, uh, beard and mustache, like one day to the next. So that's why I, I like this versus the just for men gel. But if you guys are trying to get it knocked out the way and get everything colored, then yeah, use the just for men uh, beard and mustache. So step three is to wash your beard out thoroughly. Wash your hands once again, make sure there's nothing on there because it looks clear, you're not gonna see it, but if you leave it in there, if any if any of a little bit of that um, the gel is in your fingers, then it is gonna get darker and it could stain uh, either your towel, either your fingers, whatever you have. So make sure you're washing your hands out thoroughly because you can't see if there's a little piece on your fingernails. Okay, step number four is rinse off any of the product that has dripped on the floor, if you touch the 
the curtain of your sink, if you touch the walls, if you touched anything with it, make sure you rinse off real good. I make sure I rinse off the floor of my shower. That way it doesn't stain anything. This is a very important step if you guys don't want to make a mess with any of the solution. So I do want to talk about the 48 hour allergy skin test. So it's just like just for men, beard and mustache, you want to apply a little bit to your skin and you have to wait 48 hours, two full days to make sure that you're not allergic to the product. If you guys, you got, all you have to do is Google uh, allergy test by, you know, Just For Men Gel or Control GX and you guys will see what I'm talking about. People break out in hives, it's pussy, it looks disgusting. So you guys wanna make sure you do that allergy test. If you don't, you know, you might have an allergic reaction that you're not gonna like. So just make sure you use a little bit. All you gotta do is dab a little bit on your skin. It could be on your hand, it could be, you know, on your wrist, somewhere on your skin. Make sure uh, you, you know, you leave it in for two minutes, then wash it off. And then 48 hours later, you know, make sure you're checking up on it and make sure it doesn't get nasty, doesn't break out. And then if, if it doesn't, then you could continue using this product. Okay, so let's get into the frequently asked questions and I've already talked about some of them. Like the first one is, will it stain my skin? And yes, it can't stain your skin. So make sure you're washing everything off that uh, this gel touches. So another question is, does the product rub off? The answer is no. Once you dye your hair, it's gonna be on there and it's gonna be on there good. So it's not gonna just wash off. So it's not like a temporary dye. It actually dyes your hair. So that is a frequently asked question. And that way I want you guys to know that this is a hair dye and it does work on your beard hairs. Another question is, I see dark spots inside the gel so when you're pouring it out you can see some dark spots in there and is this normal yes this is normal it's because the oxygen uh, touches the product and then it begins to uh, discolor it but it still works you could still use it that's why i'm telling you guys as soon as you use it when you take the cap off use it put the cap right back on there that way you don't have to worry about any of that but if you do see some you know little dark spots that's not a big deal and you could continue using Okay, frequently asked question number six is can you use this product on your head or anywhere else on your body and they recommend that you do not. This is only meant for your beard. Okay guys, now it is time to apply. So if you wanna look at my grays, check it out. This is them right here. I mainly have grays in that bottom goatee area. I don't have that many grays on both sides of my hair. So we're just gonna be applying mainly at the bottom uh, goatee area. And then we're gonna go from there. I am gonna take pictures and I'm gonna be filming how, we're gonna see how long it takes for my hair to all look one solid color, that dark black that I have. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how long it does take to make my hair nice and that color. Okay, first things first, we are gonna put the glove on because like I said, don't wanna get a black hand or none of that good stuff, okay? And then we are gonna apply some water on me. I'm gonna do all, all this right here next to the sink, but I am gonna go to the shower and rinse off two to three minutes after applying. Okay, so next step, let's get some water on my beard. Okay, water check. Okay, now it's time to apply. You guys wanna make sure you mix this up because you want all the products in there to get nice mixed up before you pour it on. Okay, so I'm only gonna try to put a little bit on there. You guys try not to use too much, let's see. Okay, that's good enough. If you guys could see it, make sure you close the cap. Okay. We're gonna be applying it like so. And wow, this does smell great. I'll tell you guys right now, that does smell real nice. Okay, you guys gotta make sure you're waiting two to three minutes. If you do not have a, um, like a, a clock or anything, you know, make sure you use your cell phone, have it right there next to the shower. But man, this smells real good. But yeah, have that, uh, make sure it's only on there for two to three minutes, like I mentioned and you should be good to go. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm kind of getting the sides. I don't need too much on the sides, but to work it in here. 
and it's a lot better to use the gloves because as you guys can see I could actually like work it all the way down to the roots because if you're using just your palm like this you're not going to be able to get all the way in there so definitely recommend getting a latex glove or whatever glove you guys want to use you could use a uh, dishwasher gloves whatever just uh, make sure you rub it in there okay I gotta get this patch right here okay now that's pretty much it now it's time to wait two to three minutes like i said i'm gonna be jumping in the shower right now so i'm gonna rinse it off and i'm gonna be checking in with you guys in this video we're gonna see how long it does take to make my beard look all one solid color all right you guys this is day one and i do not notice a difference i mean it's been 24 hours i'm about to hop in the shower and i'm about to apply some more but I really don't notice any difference. Maybe it's so subtle that I don't even notice it. But, you know, I still got the grays. I can't tell at all right now. Good morning, you guys. It's day three. I just woke up. I'm tired. And uh, I had my wife, like, look at my beard. I'm like, is it, is it, you know, filling out? Is it still white? Is it still gray? Like, could you check it out? And she was kind of, like, combing through it. She was checking it out and you can start noticing that it's not as gray as it was. So it's definitely very, very, very subtle. Like if I can't notice it, like none of your coworkers, people at school, nobody's going to notice it like wherever you guys work or if you guys are, you know, students, whatever. So if I can't notice it, other people are not going to notice it. So that's how subtle this is. And I'm starting to like the fact that it is like that instead of, you know, from, you know, you go from grays to black hair overnight and, you know, that's obviously <laughs> not, you know, not natural. It's uh, having the grays like slowly color in is definitely the way to go. Um, so it is day three. I'm still going to be using it because you can still see the grays. So, but I hop in the shower right now and I'm going to not use the gloves. So I want to see if my hands, uh, if they get all black or if my fingernails get black. So I'm not going to use the gloves for this application. All right, you guys, it is day four and you could kind of now barely notice something. Like I had my wife like comb through it, look through it. We had to go to day one and look through those videos and just kind of like see if it was working or not. And it, it is starting to take now. It is day four and I did want to show you guys my towel so this is my like i told you guys don't use good towels this is my you know rusty dusty towel right here and then as you can see i do have a little stain on it but i kind of wanted to get a stain on there so what i did is after applying i just rinsed my hand and then i kind of touched the towel to dry it off a little bit just to see how much it was going to be on there and that's pretty dark so it is a dark circle so i just want to let you guys know you, you got to make sure you wash your hands soap and water and then, uh, you know, use a, use one of these towels to, to dry your beard off. You know, don't use a nice towel or any of that. So I'm about to jump in the shower, about to apply some more. Guys, it is day five and I do notice more of a change now. Um, my wife told me that it looked like the grays were kind of turning into like light brown. So they're kind of camouflage right now. I still, I definitely still got some grays, guys, don't get me wrong, but it's just so crazy how it's just like, it's very very slow like this looks so natural there is no way anybody at work is gonna tell me hey are you dying your beard you know it's just like that's how slow it is it's nice it's natural i do like it and this is day five so i i, I don't want to do this every day because i think it's going to be a long video so uh the next update is going to be when i think it's uh nice and ready to go and then i'll show you guys like how long it took and then give you guys my takeaways and all that good stuff all right, you guys, it is 10 days. 10 days have gone by since I first started applying Control GX, and I am very much loving this product. As you guys can see, it looks nice and black. It's matching the rest of my beard, so I really do like it. I do wanna point out there are some a little bit of grays right here, but uh, the crazy thing about it is it's like, it's kind of like a highlight, like a natural highlight of the grays that I had. So this makes it look super natural. Like you guys, I can't stress enough how natural this looks because when you're using um, Just For Men 
beard and mustache it's like you know you got the whites and then the next day it's all one solid color you know depending on how old you are depending on how natural it's gonna look and I think you know I'm pushing 37 I'm getting kind of old now I'm just playing but uh, 37 so like I do like those little little streaks of gray just to make it like look nice and natural I'm telling you guys I love this do not mind the curls that's going down here at the bottom because, uh, you know, wearing the mask and all that stuff and it is kind of long. I was going to trim it, but I, I didn't want like halfway through the video. You guys are like, what, what's going on? He has long hair and now his beard short. So I have been growing it out the whole time that I've been recording this. And sorry I didn't show you guys every single day, but I did not want to drag this video out any longer than it needs to be. So I did want to go over some tips that I want to give to you guys that I learned through this process. We're going to get into my takeaways and what I think. I already told you guys what, how I feel, but let's get into tip number one. So the first tip is have a small mirror in the shower with you. So I have a shaving mirror. It's, it's a tiny little mirror but it's right next to the shower. So this comes in handy when you're applying, when you're applying it because you know, you wanna see where you're applying, if it's going all the way up, if it's going into your hair and all that good stuff. So have that little mirror with you. It's a definite lifesaver. So another tip is to have a clock like in view when you're in the shower or have your phone right there with you. Don't just kinda like guess on how much time has gone by. You know, if you want this product to work, you know, it's recommended two to three minutes. So you guys should be watching the clock. Okay, another tip. This one's a time saver tip. So in the very beginning, I would apply, 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 right? And then I would kind of just like wait around for three minutes, just kind of watching the clock. But you don't have to do that. You can soap up, you can put your shampoo on, make the best of your time. You don't just have to sit there and watch the clock and wait for the three minutes. So that's something that, that I learned through this process. So my next tip is I was applying with my bare hands without using a glove because I did want to see uh, how it turned your nails. And then, so I'm going to show you guys, okay? So you guys can see this hand right here. It's like crazy, like it's like a purple tint, right, to it. And then this one is the regular, is my left hand. So I, I did see that it was starting to, you know, get like purple like this. So I stopped using, I started using the, the glove again. But this is the, this is the effects. Like if you look at it by itself, you know, you could kind of tell. But when you compare it to the other hand, you could definitely tell like something's up. So I don't think people are going to notice, you know, just a little bit of it. But yeah, if they compare it to the, underhand, the other hand, they're going to definitely know what's up. So... I did, uh, there is like a tip on top of that tip. Okay, so if you guys are using this for your mustache, okay, and you're not having, and you're not using a glove, then it's gonna be very hard because when you put it on their palm, you're doing this number, and then you're supposed to get your mustache, so you're gonna be kind of jamming your face. You're not gonna get a good application on your mustache. So if you are using this on your mustache, I really didn't, you know, all my grays were on the bottom, so that's why I didn't use it too much on the mustache. But if you guys are using it on there, you guys, you you want to have gloves unless you want these purple fingernails like I have right here. So <laughs> make sure you get gloves before you try this product on. Okay, so my biggest takeaway, I already got into it and it's just so natural looking opposed to just the regular Just For Men mustache and beard like this one. It is a slow process, don't get me wrong, it's a slow process, so if you guys had, you know, if you guys are on a time crunch, do not use this. Like I said, it took 10 days to get to this point and I'm very happy how it looks right now. That is another thing, so once you're happy with the look, you can actually alternate between your, your beard wash. So I use Shea Moisturizer Beard Wash and I, I mean, I love that way it smells good. It leaves your, your hair nice and conditioned. I did like the Control GX, the way it left my hair because uh, it didn't leave it like brittle or anything. It was, uh, I say medium, like soft, not as good as my, as my beard wash for sure. But um, I thought it was gonna leave it like real hard and brittle like, so it didn't. So just in case you guys were wondering how it feels once, you know, once you're applying. So once you get it to that good, you know, that color that you wanted at, what you do is you just alternate. So like 
So one day you use the beard wash or maybe two days in a row you use beard wash and then you go to control GX and then another day beard wash and you just alternate and you kind of get your own little schedule to see how it looks the most uh, natural and the best to you. All right, you guys, so I do have about half the bottle still left. So I'm gonna continue using it and using it and you know, of course, I'm gonna alternate with my beard wash. But the thing is, uh, after I finish that bottle, I'm gonna do a comparison video. So it's gonna be Control GX versus Just for Men beard and mustache. So I'm, you know, I'm gonna upload that video to my channel. So make sure you guys subscribe. If this video helped you out, all I ask for is a simple thumbs up. You know, thumbs up with my. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with my purple thumb if you guys have any questions comment box below i'll answer them and i appreciate you guys watching my video